So you want to upgrade the SSD on your ASUS Zephyrus G14. First, there's some very important stuff you should know. If you want to keep your stuff on your laptop, make sure to back it up. The new SSD you're putting in here is empty, so you either have to install a fresh copy of Windows on it, or clone your current drive to it. Now drive cloning is a bit of a tricky subject, so I won't be covering it in this video. If you want to start fresh on a clean Windows install, make sure to do these two very important things before starting. First you should create a Windows 11 boot USB, so you can actually install Windows on the new SSD you're putting in here. Secondly, make sure to download all of the necessary Zephyrus G14 drivers and put them on a USB as well. A clean install means it won't have a lot of drivers, so a lot of stuff won't work. You can find all the official drivers on ASUS's website, and I'll put the link below. So what's all the stuff you need before upgrading the SSD? Of course you'll need the laptop itself and the SSD. I chose this 2TB Samsung 990 Pro, which is currently pretty much the best 2TB SSD you can put in here. You'll need a soft plastic prying tool to open the laptop with. These plastic guitar pick looking things will work just fine. You'll need a hexalobe screwdriver and a Phillips head screwdriver. I'm just using this iFixit kit, which probably has all of the heads. Now let's start by opening up the laptop. On the outside there's 11 screws in total. Two of the screws are hidden behind these rubber feet, which we can place back afterwards. Make sure you're gentle with these, because they can break pretty easily. Then let's unscrew the 11 screws. Make sure to keep these organized, because they are different from each other. Now once those are removed, we can pull very gently on the backplate over here by the exhaust vents. Then we can stick our plastic prying tool between the backplate to pry it open. Don't stick it in too far though, as there's plastic tabs holding the plate down. Just keep doing this until all the tabs click open. Eventually the backplate will just click out, and now we have our first look at the motherboard. Now the G14 only has two upgradable parts, the Wi-Fi card and the NVMe SSD. To remove the SSD, we just unscrew this single screw. Now this SSD has a sort of sock around it, with a thermal pad and some aluminum. You can just slide this off so we can reuse it for the other SSD. And then we gently pull the SSD out. Now it's very important to note that the Zephyrus G14 doesn't support every M.2 SSD. Now it officially only supports SSDs up to 4TB, but it actually supports any NVMe SSD as long as it has single-sided memory. What does that mean? Well every M.2 SSD has these little memory chips on the board, but some SSDs, mostly large capacity ones like 4TB and 8TB, have these chips on both sides of the motherboard. But the Zephyr G14 doesn't have much space in the chassis, so these double-sided SSDs will not fit. So make absolutely sure that the SSD you want to buy is only single-sided, otherwise it won't fit. Now let's put that aluminum sock thing around the new SSD. Let's insert the new SSD and stick it into the M.2 slot at an angle. It only goes in one way, so line it up correctly. When it's inserted, we can push it down a little and screw it in with that little screw we unscrewed before. Now we can just put the backplate back on again and click it into place. Now make sure to press it down everywhere equally. Those plastic tabs need to go back to where they were, so make sure to press around a bit. Remember to put the same screws in the same locations again. Oh, and don't forget to reinsert the rubber tabs. And voila, you've upgraded your SSD. Now after it's been opened, the Zephyrus G14 requires a power source until it can turn on again. So make sure to plug it in first. If you've cloned your previous SSD, you can get started right away. And if you're installing a fresh copy of Windows, remember to install those drivers. Me personally, I'm just gonna install my entire Steam library on this thing. So I'll be seeing you all in the next video. Bye bye.